Okay, now we're going to make a coil pot uh, with some balls here in the center. Um, I'm going to show you how to roll out a coil and make the pot. So you're just going to start with a small piece of clay. Um, it's easiest if you make it into a ball. And then you're just going to roll it out kind of like a little snake. And it works best if you use the palm of your hands and your fingers and just sort of go back and forth. Okay, so now that we have all of our coils rolled out, uh, we're going to start by making the base of the pot, which you can see is also a coil. So we're just going to take one of our coils and we're going to start uh, by coiling it into a flat surface. And I think we'll want ours to be just a little bit bigger than that, so we're just going to add one more coil to the base there. Um, we're just going to press this other piece into the first one and just continue to make the base of our pot. Okay, so now that we have the base of our pot, we're going to start building up our coil wall. Uh, we're going to need to slip and score the, the coil, the first coil that we're going to do. So we're just gonna go ahead and score the edges. And just add some slip to that. And then just score the first part of the coil that's going to wrap around the base. Attach that, and then you're just going to start building up the wall of the pot onto the coils and just like how we added an extra coil to our base you're just going to continue to add pieces to your pot by pinching them together and you're just going to continue working up from there we'll add one more coil and then we will uh, put the balls in the middle there just going to pinch that in that. So now we're going to add uh, the balls to this layer so we're going to need to slip and score that as well. And the same with our tiny little balls that I had pre-rolled out and we're just going to attach those all the way around. Okay, now that we have placed all of the balls around the top of the coil pot, we're going to continue to add some more coils. So we're going to need to slip and score here as well. And again, uh, the first part of the coil that's going to lay on top of that. I'll just add a little bit of slip. and start building right on top of that. And again, just layering. And my pot's already getting pretty tall, so I may not add any more coils after this. Yep, so I think I'm going to stop there. Uh, the next step here is to smooth the inside of your coil pot to make it uh, water safe.
So, now I'm just gonna score and slip this here. So to smooth the inside, you're just gonna take the water um, in your fingers and you're just gonna start rubbing the inside to smooth it out. If you happen to have this tool, this works great for smoothing out the inside of your project. Um, if you don't, however, you can use your thumb, which works just as well. So you're just gonna make sure that you seal all the coils it's nice and smooth so that it can hold water. Just gonna take a little water and finish smoothing out the inside. So with the coil pot, you can either uh, leave the coils on the outside of the pot or you can smooth the outer coils as well. Um, it's just a preference. I'm going to leave mine in coils. So there we have it. It's our finished coil pot.